if you want to start a channel, just do that shit. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Young SLB, and I'm here to tell you guys how you can start a channel right now using only your phone. So, the first step in this process is to set up your actual channel if you don't already have one. So, go to YouTube, click sign up for a new page, you enter all your Google information, great, you have a channel. Now that you have a channel, you get your thumbnail and your profile picture. Once you have a channel, you're going to need to upload some channel art and you're going to need a profile picture. So, make sure you choose something that's aesthetically pleasing. You don't want it to be all crazy funky colors because that's the first thing your subscriber, your viewer is going to see. So you want it to be presentable. Next step after you have your channel set up is to get equipment. Now, you only need two things really, and that's something to hold your phone to record you, which can either be a tripod or a makeshift contraption just to hold your phone up, which I'm actually doing right now. I can show you guys. So this is actually my makeshift tripod right now. Like this is what I'm using to record. I put my phone right here in the mirror. After you have a tripod or something to hold your phone, you're going to want to download iMovie. This is what I've been using to edit all of my videos since I first started YouTube. And it's a really great tool. It's free. It's good for iPhones and Android, so this isn't limited to just iPhones. Three apps you really need to have is iMovie for editing your videos, Canva and Fonto for thumbnails and channel art. So after you have your channel started, you have your basic equipment, you're ready to start filming, you need to sit down and think about what you really want your channel to be. Who's your audience? What kind of content are you trying to create? How you're going to be different and organic and original? You know there are millions of YouTubers, so you have to stand out. What's going to make you stand out? You have to think of these things before you jump into recording because this is really the important part. After you've figured out what you want your channel to be, you need to create a planning and posting schedule. So I like to sit down and write out about a month in advance what videos I'm going to post when and what time. It keeps you organized and it keeps you committed because you have a schedule to look at and you can keep yourself on track and help you stay consistent. And that's important because your channel isn't going to grow if you're not putting out consistent videos. If you're putting out a video once every month, once every two months, I mean, you're not going to get as much traffic as you would if you're on a schedule and you're putting yourself accountable for posting. After you have all your planning done, you know who your audience is, you know what you want your channel to be, you know how often you're about to post what videos you're going to make. The next step is to start recording. That's it. You already have everything in place to start up your channel right now. So start creating that content, start uploading that content, upload as much as you can. The more content, the better. If you guys would like to see how I make thumbnails, I already have a video on that. You can click right here. And it will take you to that video if you want to learn how to make a thumbnail. But yeah, you guys, that's really all there is to it. But I do have an announcement to make. Also have a giveaway winner. Let's give it up for Ivy May. Yes, congratulations. She has already been contacted and she's responded. So the giveaway is closed. But thank you to everybody who participated. And I will have another bigger giveaway coming at a thousand subscribers so make sure you subscribe so you don't miss the next giveaway thank you so much for watching i hope this video was beneficial i appreciate you bye